Hey everybody, how you doing today? This is Jesse with Crash Outdoors. And today it's gonna be a little bit different. Um, usually we're out there either hunting, fishing, uh, but today we're gonna do a little maintenance on our setups here. Um, today we're gonna be working on a Black Max 6600. Uh, it's a little different than the normal Black Maxes that we have today. Um, this is an older model. Uh, it's a, a 90s version. They came out in like 90, 91. Um, but still, they're really good reels if you're able to maintain them. Uh, this one I bought on eBay a few years ago and just never did anything with it other than putting a handle on it because the handle that was on it was very, very small and you could barely grab it. Uh, so I did upgrade the handle a few years ago when I bought it. Um, so today, what we're going to do is we're going to break it apart, see what it needs, if it needs anything. The seller was really upfront and said it just has boat rash, uh, but let's see what happens when we get into it. And here we go. Okay guys, so I just broke down the reel and the seller was quite truthful when he said that he got it serviced, which I wish all sellers were like this. Um, but also he got the drags upgraded from a single stack to a triple stack. And he got the bushings changed to bearings. Now, what does that mean? Well, back in the 90s, you had two models. You had the Black Max and you had the Silver Max. Silver Max was, say, the luxury model of the two. So what you could do if you knew somebody that knew this and knew, you know, the little ins and outs of reels, you can actually find bearings that's the, that are the size of the bushings and just replace them. And that's what he did, as well as you have the set plate that used to have a big old bushing in the middle. Well, in the Silver Max, it has a big bearing. It helps with smoothness, castability, overall just really nice. So I am really, really surprised. <laughs> so let's get this guy in the ultrasonic cleaner, clean it up and get it back together so we can try this out.
All right, guys, there you have it. Uh, first off, I wanna apologize for the echo. I am still working on uh, getting rid of that echo, so I apologize for the audio echoiness. But anyway, here you go. The reel is ready to go and fish again. It is nice and clean. Nothing needed to be repaired or placed on it, so I can't wait to get this guy back out on the water fishing again. All right, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like this video, comment if you want to, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you guys so much again. Have a great rest of your day, and God bless.